Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'll be talking about uh, managing teaching and learning activities during COVID-19 pandemic, the experience of the International Islamic University Malaysia. The categories of community engaged and served by a university encompass internal and external members. Internal members include students, academics and staff members, while external members involve learned, learning, professional and public community. COVID-19 pandemic has severely affected the activities of both categories of the community involving the delivery of their tasks and duties. While the pandemic has necessitated the formulation of judicious interventions to eliminate or to slow down the outbreak, it has also pushed universities, including us, to alter the ways we accomplish our activities. Therefore, universities have come up with necessary measures to manage the spread of coronavirus and facilitate proper delivery of university activities, including the teaching and learning processes. The objective of this presentation uh, is to present the measures taken by the Kulia of Islamic Review Knowledge and Human Sciences at IIUM in responding to the needs to adjust activities among academics and students, namely the teaching and learning related processes throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. This is in line with the objective of uh, ISROFIC, which is to avail a platform for the exchange of experience and aspirations among academics in IIUM and universities or Universitas Islam Riau. It is hoped that this sharing will enlighten participants and ways to respond to crisis and design alternative means to manage teaching and learning processes as well as their related activities. It is expected that the shared information will contribute to the literature on scholarship of teacher learning or knowledge on instructional technology at higher learning institutions, especially during crisis time. The information that I'm sharing uh, with you have been sourced from various sources, namely memorandum, guidelines, manuals and other related documents issued by the Kulia and University on the measures to manage teaching and learning processes during COVID-19 pandemics. <coughs> the first objective is to talk about the teaching and learning processes that have been uh, adopted during COVID-19 pandemic time. Giving te given teaching and learning processes are the core businesses of an institution, their provision requires the involvement of academic staff and students. Besides, it also involves students' parents, funders, as well as community members. During the pandemic, the Kulia of Islamic Review Knowledge and Human Sciences has undertaken several measures to deal with this community aim at adjusting the way they think, the way they feel and perform work, revising the procedures of teaching and learning related activities, also to develop their awareness on the need to prioritize safety and health when handling work processes by taking into account long-term consequences and repercussions of any decision made by the Kulia. During the initial period of movement control order implemented by the government of Malaysia, that was uh, from the 18th of March 2020, the following measures were taken. No mandatory synchronous class sessions were allowed, meaning there was no class conducted by lecturers. No physical or face-to-face -face or online teaching were conducted. It has been declared as the mid-semester break of the university. Academics may put slides, videos, or reading materials on learning portal. I mean, we have iTalim in IUM for students to read them. Supervision of PhD, master, research project, final year project, proposal defense, viva voce of PhD also have been continued okay, via online mode. In terms of examination, the usual paper and pencil examination have been replaced with alternative assessment. 
The second focus was on the adjustment on work performance. The university places the well-being of her community at the topmost priority, especially with regard to the student's learning experience. While academics in the university uphold the amana towards knowledge, many new practices and norms have been introduced so as to ensure the continuous delivery of work performances, including teaching and learning. The attention given by the university has developed her academics readiness to adopt new work practices and created new norms to accomplish the planned teaching tasks and responsibilities. Given the constraints faced by students in academics, many suitable measures have been taken, for example, by conducting training and workshops for lecturers to enhance their readiness and to develop their skills on ways to, to accomplish work in an alternative manner. Academics and staff do not come to the university, but they have adopted work from home concept or system during the movement control order period. This is because the government of Malaysia has uh, implemented this uh, in order to, uh, to avail or to provide social and physical distance intervention. Academics and staff were informed to adjust the job performance accordingly from their workstation at home. Alternative approach to teaching and learning processes then started in June okay, by the introduction of emergency remote teaching and learning. The third focus is on the revision of procedure for teaching and learning related activities. This involves academic staff as well as students. The Kulia has revisited the job description for her academics and staff during the movement control order period. Revision of job description have been put in place to ensure that students' learning processes is accordingly managed. This included putting a halt to any form of teaching and learning activities, including the online teaching, being aware of various issues they encountered, organizing a series of workshops on virtual learning or e-learning for all lecturers in Arabic and English medium, conducting various e-meetings at departmental and also faculty level with local students and international students to open up forums for them, to exchange information to inform their problems with the university. Engaging students to participate in online surveys conducted by the university to acquire information on issues they encounter. Develop various standard operating procedures. Develop guidelines on the altered uh, approaches in teaching and learning processes. And also redesign the nature or the structure of internship or practical training which should be completed by students. Besides that, academic activities have been revised to be conducted in remote teaching manner. A series of training have been conducted to train instructors on the ways to conduct electro electronically uh, supported digital teaching processes and the ways to conduct assessment via distance mode. Various meetings have been conducted with uh, academics and staff to exchange thoughts on the issues they encountered. Besides training and workshop, seminar also have been conducted for them to uh, share their research findings. This is conducted through scholarship advancement programs which have been conducted either virtually or in physical meetings. The university and also the Kulia has uh, provided financial assistance to deserving members among students as well as staff. The teaching and learning activities during COVID-19 pandemic has taken into account long-term consequences and repercussion on any decision made by the university. The RTL has been adopted and a synchronous class system has been introduced meaning class are not conducted during the time allocated for the slot. 
Occasionally, lecturers may con. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Ms. Moderator. Give me time to present about my article today. Uh, the title of my, my article is Study of the Effectiveness of Learning to Teaching uh, Student Psychological Undergraduates in Universitas Islam Riau and COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, we would love to the background of this study. Uh, we all of uh, here know about the COVID-19 pandemic. It is, is the issue of the uh, the world. It is the global issue. The COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia is part of the ongoing worldwide pandemic of coronavirus disease 2019. Uh, caused by several respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. It was confirmed in, uh, to have spread to Indonesia at 2 March 2022 yeah, by, uh, by 9 April the pandemic had spread to all 34 provinces in the country, Indonesia. Uh, as of the 12th of December 20, 2000, 20, uh, 2000, Indonesia has reported okay, this case okay, uh, and then the hike in South Asia in terms of that number Indonesia ranked third in Asia and the 17 in the world. In a real province have the two 21,996 case uh, and that uh, 5,003 people have died because of this pandemic. Uh, the objective of this study, the objective of this study was to rank the effectiveness and student satisfaction who joined the online class using an e-learning among psychological students in uh, Islamic University of Rio. Based on this one, okay, we will like to know the reset method for this uh, uh, study. This research is that design is quantitative uh, reset. The sample uh, uses 163 students in faculty of psychology who joined the e-learning uh, study uh, uh, in uh, era COVID-19 mm -hmm. uh, pandemic. The sampling technique is uses this research is simple random sampling. The method collected the reason psychology scale and uh, useful like questionnaire are uh, using because uh, today is a year, uh, this condition is this pandemic. I cannot uh, take the data by the uh, myself, but I'm using a Google form. I make a Google form, and then from the Google form, I uh, send the, the link of the Google form to my student, and then my student will be answer the scale based on this field and uh, uh, condition that uh, uh, they feel after uh, using the e-learning in psychology. After the data collected for the student, I will the, analyze the uh, the data with the, the descriptive uh, statistic. Based on the analysis of this data, okay, we I have the uh, ten uh, parameter parameter in uh, to uh, in this research to know about the rank the effectiveness of online learning among psychological undergraduate students in university. Uh, Universitas Islam Royal amid COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Based on this uh, graphic, we know that the, the parameter overing convenience, we have the uh, somewhere, since we have the using the uh, Likert scale from the much less effective, some uh, less effective, equally effective, somewhere, uh, somewhere more effective, much more uh, effective. 
uh, this, the parameter of this study using STEM parameter uh, to using the Ethernet. Offering the first parameters offering convenience. This is uh, for uh, for T1, uh, uh, seven percent of my students say that some were more effective offering convenient to using e-learning. Meeting individual learning needs, this is the second parameter. And then the third parameter is contributing to effective communication. Four parameters, building skill and knowledge, offering uh, be better understanding talk uh, online class interaction level double decision uh, balancing of the partial and the theoretical experiences and the uh, nine parameter it is Simon submission in the last is midterm and final uh, semester exam for the 10 uh, a parameter we will know from this uh, data we will uh, the majority of the my student answer is uh, ik, ik, uh, parameter uh, the student answer is uh, somewhere somewhere more effective but two level of the effectiveness using the e-learning assignment submission midterm and final screen a final semester exam uh, much more effective we call in this one uh, fact uh, 52 percent and one and then this is one have the four uh, 45 let me say 40 uh, five uh, the student answered that it's much more effective using e-learning in psychology uh, in uh, COVID-19 pandemic era. And then for this study, I would look, I would like, I I would like to know about the the, uh, the satisfaction level of psychology under the good student in University uh, Islam Riau with regard to online class on five parameter. Uh, we'd like to know uh, how how level how much in, how level of the satisfaction of the my student to using the e-learning in psychology. Mm -hmm. uh, the five parameter is how helpful was this class material provide uh, to you, and then this is professional investment strategy toward online training and how satisfied uh, are you with the balance per practice in theoretical knowledge provided uh, by this case and then the the, the four parameters ability of research uh, your research available uh, availability uh, assistance based on this research uh, so that the result is uh, strongly that all of the participants, 163 respondents to join this, uh, st this study say that uh, they are so very satisfied, uh, satisfied to you, uh, use the e-learning psychology uh, this uh, pandemic uh, era, COVID-19, that's right. This is the, the data say that uh, we can say we can see we can see this uh, graphic that uh, more um, psychological student so uh, satisfied using the uh, e-learning of psychology it is called that the satisfied okay 60 uh, for 60 percent satisfied ability uh, ability of the assistant because all of the students before using the e-learning we get the training uh, from the department of psychology to us then so all of the students will be familiar with the Peter or a technique or how to using the uh, the e-learning for the student this is the graphic from uh, this study, uh, the student will uh, so sat satisfied 
So using the e-learning learning management system in psychological uh, department. So uh, based on this research, I will. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me now. I want to tell of you the, the my article, my research, the effectiveness of the decoping and holy alcohol resuscitation to overcome the anxiety of long distance relationship between married couple. Raihana tu bin Kalbi Rosain and the second Nila Listiani and Anissa Sasabila. We are from Faculty of Psychology, Universitas Islam Riau. Next. Come on. Abstract. A long distance relationship between married couple will cause excessive anxiety to stress for the husband on our wife. Common stress management often is undertaken through engaging in fun activity and communicating with friends. The research object was to conduct a systematic review of search article identifying the effectiveness of the decoping and holy Al-Quran recitation in attempt to overcome the anxiety of a wrong distant relationship between married couple. Method. This research decides, design used a was a literature review which article analyzed research design. The article analyzed used with the study were six articles. The result obtained from the entire article, namely the decoping and recitation Holy Al-Quran, can overcome the anxiety of long-distance relationship between married couples by communicating more than five times per to contact the partner using telephone, Skype, and SMS, BBM, media, and recitation Holy Al-Quran at least five first per day, might thought 100 first per day and maximum 200 first per day for meeting, uh, five meeting which the length of each meeting range from five, 50 minutes uh, to an hours. Conclusion, the copying and Holy Al-Quran registration had effectiveness in overcoming anxiety of long-distance relationship between married couple. Keyword, the copying, Holy Al-Quran registration, anxiety in long-distance relationship. Next. Introduction. Long-distance relationship is a relationship that is superior by distance and lot time. Long distance relationship between married couple implies the husband and wife and children and are in different place and it's not possible to meet usual. One of the cause of the problem of low certification in married a long distance, which is a attempt for couple who are separated because one of them the work in different places or city. The increase in divorce case in initial cure from uh, nine uh, eight. 0.15 uh, percent, 12.19 uh, percent. In maintaining a long distance relationship, each partner must find a way to be able to talk to each other, to foster the interpersonal relationship, interpersonal communication as a duet by Jalaluddin Rahmat. It is influenced by three factors. The first, believing trust. It implies that if someone has feeling that the person will not harm, will not be tired, then the person is more easily to open up. The second, supportiveness, which is expanded to improve communication. The third is openness of mind, ability to judge ob objectivity, ability to distinguish this easily, ability to see noise, orientation toward content, seeking information from various sources, willingness to change belief, profession, and so on. This open attitude can be contrast, contrasted with the character of close person. Next. The overcome problem is mere couple who undergo the long distance relationship. They, the coping can be overcome and resistance in whole airport and is effort to reduce anxiety. The decoping is an, inter, is an interpersonal process that involves both parents in marriage in relationship. The first function of the decoping is related to stress. The decoping is an additional sort of stress in addition to 
each partner personal coping the effort. The second function is related with the relationship investment in close relationship. She also called Rana. The role of daily coping in couple was evaluation by looking at the buffering effect of the social support by couple on the precious symptom in marriage couple. The second, the daily coping therapies, namely couple coping enhancement training or couple coping enhancement training, another way to reduce stress with religious religious approach to is to use the Holy Al-Quran as medium. Holy Al-Quran provides human certain comfort and skid away from worry and anxiety and depression. Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, for example, he used and advised his followers to pray during times of stress. Rasulullah Wasallam agreed that the letter of Afatiyah is true because it's prayer to Allah to cure illness, Hadis Al-Bukhari. In effect, letter of Yasin article uh, 36 of the Holy Al-Quran is also believed by Muslim as a way of building peace when sick. The two letter of a commonly used by Muslim when they are sick or dying. Next. Abdurrahman et al. I do the Al-Quran stimulate can be used as relaxation therapy even better than using therapy stimulates because Al-Quran stimulates can generate 63 uh, 0.11 percent delta wave from music therapy. This Alcoran stimulates often generate delta wave in the frontal and the central area, both on the right and the on the left of the brain. This happen because the frequency of reading of, of Alcoran has the ability to the program brain cell increase their ability and blind stance. The simulation of Alcoran of generate delta wave in the frontal and center area, both of the right and of the life of the brain. The ha this happens because the frequency of the reading waves of the Al-Quran has the ability to program brain cells, increase their ability and balance them. In this case, the treatment of anxiety along the relationship between a couple can use the copying and recitation the Holy Al-Quran. The purpose of this narrative review was to conduct a systematic review research article that identified how to effective the decoping and recitation the Holy Al Quran in overcoming and shooting of long distance relationship between married couple. The result of the study can be used as a reference. No. Okay. Reference are sort the future result and the effectiveness of the decoping and recitation are going to overcome and shoot in long distance relationship between married couple. Next. The article used to analyze the literature study where access from 2010 and 2020 publication years. Database are from Google Scholar, Science Open, Science article, Resistance Al Quran, the story of married couple to the undergo a long distance relationship. They are decoping the stress of married couple with undergo long distance relationship, then the stress of married couple who undergo long distance relationship. Next. Next. Okay. From the six article, we found it. Okay, we are, you can see it. Next. Next. Uh, you can see it. Okay, next. Next. Discussion. The article analysis of this long distance relationship model saw the media which of use as supporting the husband wife supposed communicating the long distance relationship telephone, Skype, SMS, or BBM. Telephone media is used ever more than five times to call the support of children and Skype media usual known the condition as supposed to break news to see certain activity, miss feeling toward in this poem. There's the research in Chair 1 article to analyze in the metric of data presentation. The result obtained after the conducting article analyzed thoroughly saw the same conclusion. The research source saw that the result from both experimental group and its control group has effective or different level of anxiety than 4 5 50% per day, medium 100% per day, and maximum 200% per day during five meetings with duration. Each meeting is around 50 minutes until one hour. Second, next. Conclusion. The narrative review result based on six recent articles after conducting analysis can be conducted then the copying and reading Al-Quran. 
Kapan overcome anxiety? Jadi coping and reading out are not effective. Overcoming the anxiety or a husband of a husband and wife during long distance relationship. Reading Alquran can be done during five, fifty uh, percent per day, medium one hundred percent per day, or maximally two hundred percent per day. Uh, meeting duration each uh, meeting is around fifty uh, minutes or until one hours. The decoping can be done using telephone, media, Skype, SMS, or BBM. Four five times a day, calling the support. Next. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for my presentation. Uh, we we finish it. Okay, close. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Sija Herawati, and my partner Ahmad Hidayat. This is our community engagement with international student in Universitas Islam Riau, and we we can explain about our program. The title is Psychological Support to International Student at Universitas Islam Riau during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we are from Universitas Islam Riau, Department of Psychology. Pandemic COVID-19, on March 2, 2020, the President of the Republic of Indonesia announced the first time the COVID-19 case in Indonesia. Or we, we know about coronavirus and then uh, what the impact on students, this pandemic. Uh, from studies, from March 2020 until now, we'll, and, and I, I think every university in the world start to on the learning. And then impact of economic. International student in Universitas Islam Riau, majority from certain of Thailand, Patani. And they have a financial difficulties because family in the certain Thailand are also having an impact. I think everyone in this world uh, have an impact from pandemic. And the impact on students from the social side is social distancing that make them unable to return to their home country. So they never come to uh, Patani, Southern of Thailand and the struggle of studying online. The first struggle is language. The international student from uh, Southern Thailand, Patani, limited ability in speaking in Indonesia. And that so make they have uh, difficulties with um, online learning. And the second the struggle of studying online is technology. They are unfamiliar with technology e-learning, so they still not familiar with the e-learning, Zoom, and Google Meet. And the struggle of the three, third is social. The limitation of Indonesian friend in the class, so they're not much have a friend from Indonesia, so they they, they feel like uh they, they don't know about notion about the class about the past and the for support system. Not all lecture Indonesia now that they are from Patani, so the lecture misunderstanding of their situation due to their limited language and social skill. From the economy, the start of pandemic, uh, the international student in University Islam Riau fairly affected because they have not received assistance. So, uh, then, and the solution, we help them to rise uh, about their situation and they get help from university and other parties who help them with um, 
food uh, and there is they have a business uh, they sell Thai teas yeah how Thai tea and th their business has economic income to help them in the pandemic in the community activity they have a problem like gener regeneration obstruction of community activity program that SK that has shaped character and the program that are carried out are only internal and scientific activity and external relationship it doesn't work external relation with help socially and linguistically and there are no new member due to online learning no student from overseas be new student in universitas islam Riyadh. The community policy from the head of PEMIPTI, PEMIPTI is Persatuan Mahasiswa Indonesia Patani, Thailand, Indonesia. Uh, the head of PEMIPTI make a rules according to KPP or social distancing, like no one member can go out from their home, no one can go home back to Thailand, and uh, they, they have a spiritual program, like they, they still uh, study about Kitab, um, Liko, and they, they do their hobby, like Zufram, Farmer, I think. They have a pigeon in the era pandemic, fish and farmer. And the community policy from the head of communities, they do a sport. Every week, three days in a week, they have to doing sport like jogging, uh, but just in their own community, no social, no uh, in social distancing in the rules PKPP. And what we can help them, the first thing is social support. We, um, me and my partner, um, Mr. Ahmad and my student, uh, we, we still intensity communication with there because um, mm, we, we always call with phone, chit chat, we ask how they feel, how their um, situation and academic support. We have direct problem in e-learning, like we help them to how to use e-learning, how to use Zoom, how to use the technology in this uh, study. And then psychological support, we do group counseling between Indonesian student and Patani student in online. Like my student in from, from Indonesia uh, join communication with Patani. So my student and uh, me and my partner, we help them to improve their communication with Indonesia. Okay. Okay, thank you. I think uh, just it, but we still continue our psychological program. Like, um, but but this is still PKPP, so we we just program in online, like sharing together, um, web webinar. I think then this program still continue. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will go straight away to my presentation today uh, to save the time because we don't have uh, enough time. Uh, thank you very much for uh, bearing with me for this presentation. The title of my presentation is The Impacts of COVID-19 Pandemic on Graduate Research Progress at the Kuliah of Islamic Reveal Knowledge and Human Sciences. Um, 
For year 2020 has witnessed a natural catastrophe that impacted human life the way it has never been imagined before. At the bottom of this catastrophe um, is a lesson to, by le to be learned by men of technology that human software in addition to hardware is still the best mean to sustainability. Pandemic COVID-19 has penetrated into the life of graduate students as learning and researching activities were hampered by the lockdown measures adopted by the government to curb the pandemic from spreading. This presentation therefore seeks to expose the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on graduate research progress at the Kulia. The presentation hopes to share the findings of a pilot survey and to recommend ways of curbing the impact should it recur in the future. So the objectives of my presentations are to report the challenges faced by the graduates of Kulia of Islamic Rebuild Knowledge in their learning and researching activities during the pandemic, to highlight the impact of anxiety towards graduates' research progress, to suggest ways of managing graduates to enhance their research progress despite a given situation. For this uh, research, I have uh, conducted a pilot survey. So this is the methodology of my uh, research. Uh, and I have used a Google survey form, which includes 21 questions, a combination of closed and open-ended questions. And to analyze the data due to the uh, technical um, time limitations, I have uh, done the analysis manually. Uh, and the analysis focus on examining the impact of pandemic COVID-19 to graduates' well-being that hindered your research progress. What are my research questions? There are many research questions that I wish to uh, focus but uh, these are among the four pertinent questions relevant to my survey. Yeah. Number one is, were the graduates suffering from anxiety during the lockdown that impacted their research progress? Number two, to what extent such anxiety hamper their research progress? Were there any possibilities that having right research skills helping the graduates to overcome such anxiety? Um, what the Kulia or faculty can do to help graduates should the situation recur in the future. So these are going to be my discussions and I hope to do it in a very quick manner. So this is a demographic background. I have 56 uh, respondents. They are 60 male and 50, uh, sorry, 40 female. Yeah. But there are 42 local students and 14 international students. Okay, these uh, findings um, are quite interesting. These data are quite, uh, it's quite interesting. 41 of the respondents of the or the graduates acknowledge that they have uh, anxiety. I mean, the pandemic has caused anxiety, and the level of anxiety ranging from five to seven. Yeah. Now, we know that there are 16 uh, male uh, respondents, but 14 of them acknowledge that the pandemic has caused anxiety, while 27 out of uh, the remaining female uh, acknowledge the same. Okay, so these are the details of the graduates uh, who acknowledge that they have the anxiety. I'm not going to discuss this in detail. Yeah. And these are the symptoms. Yeah. I believe if you have read materials or articles on uh, you know the impacts of pandemic to people, you will find uh, some overlapping symptoms. Yeah. Okay, but the symptoms to the male students or graduates are quite concentrated. I mean, they're more or less having the same problems. You know, migraine, feeling scared to talk to people, you know, overthinking this and that. So, these are among the... Um, so, some of the uh, graduates who 
uh, had anxiety feelings agreed that you know such anxiety have affect their ability to think rationally so like the 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 lack of uh, ability to think rationally and these are among the you know the answers given by them uh, 27 of them yeah i can focus on the research performance untreatable procrastinator so unaware of the effects of not pushing them so, uh, you know myself harder that they cannot think rationally so they found that you know this anxiety did not help them to progress you know i keep thinking the worst case you know, these were students with anxiety but if we look at the graduates with uh, who didn't have anxiety feeling the pandemic did not impact on them the anxiety feeling so they were quite positive yeah doing fine trust on creator have no problems in my thesis writing my rationality is in control so maybe at this level we can assume that those who did not face any anxiety feeling you know uh, due to the con uh, pan a pandemic will be able to progress well in their research this is at least how i think uh, and we can see that uh, how the uh, pandemic that has caused anxiety or did not cause anxiety to the graduates have certain impacts on the behavior of the graduates i would like to highlight that um, based on the survey i found that most of the students are in this category 31 of them yeah, so 31 of the students were on stable condition those who were impacted by the anxiety feeling you know have very unstable behavior yeah um but uh, alhamdulillah on um, i mean we didn't have very uh, glaring number of graduates who thought you know who was anxious and they were pessimists or who did not have anxiety but they were pessimists so this shows some good uh, you know uh, impressions on earth that you know i think in to feeling unstable you know during the pandemic is normal yeah so uh, what they did you know this unstable the students who thought that they were unstable during the pandemic they spend most of the time in social media uh, they could not do much with the research why because they couldn't go to the library stuck with the research it was challenging for me to comprehend the words that i've consulted yeah so a number of them succumb to procrastination so this is how the anxiety impacted their behavior yeah. um okay so this is also the situation of 31 students who thought that their research progress was significantly impacted yeah. so they have uh, the situation where they cannot pursue their research because they lost they don't believe in themselves they need to be multitasking um, they cannot pay attention they cannot find ways to do research so on and so forth yeah um but there were also a group of students or graduates who were not impacted who were impacted by anxiety i mean they were anxious but they thought that anxious feeling has helped to impact their research progress in positive manner. This is interesting. Seven of them said that uh, the pandemic had given them lots of time to finish their work. Yeah? Now, the, you know, one of them said the thesis is under examination. Uh, they said, you know, they can do reading, thinking, writing, and they became more, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, submit.